Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave engineering. In today's class, we are going to learn about group velocity, phase velocity and guide wavelength. Group velocity is denoted by Vg. So, we can observe a group of waves traveling in a waveguide. So, this group velocity Vg can be defined as the velocity at which the group of waves propagating through a waveguide. So, this group velocity is given by Vg is equal to c into square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square, where c is the speed of light which is given by 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second, lambda naught is free space wavelength and lambda c is cutoff wavelength. Now let's see phase velocity Vp. So phase velocity is defined as the velocity or the rate at which the wave changes its phase. Okay. So if you observe this waveform, the red dot, if you observe the red dot of a waveform, as the wave is moving along the waveguide, it keeps on changing its phase. So if you observe the so red dot, you can see as the wave is moving along the waveguide, it's changing its phase from positive cycle to the negative cycle. So a phase velocity Vp can be defined as the rate at which the wave propagating in a waveguide changes its phase. The change in phase is nothing but changing from positive cycle to the negative cycle. So the phase velocity Vp is given by Vp is equal to c by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. So the next topic is our guide wavelength lambda g. So the guide wavelength lambda g is defined as the distance traveled by the wave to undergo a phase shift. So let us consider a waveguide. This is a waveguide and there is a microwave signal propagating with respect to z direction. Now as the wave is traveling along the z direction in the waveguide, it undergoes a phase shift. So so this is a phase shift which we can see here. It is considered as guide wavelength lambda g. So the distance traveled by the wave to take a shift in the phase. So it is nothing but let us say this wave has been shifted from positive cycle to the negative cycle. So the distance traveled by the wave along the z direction in a waveguide can be considered as the guide wavelength lambda g. So the guide wavelength lambda g is given by lambda g is equal to lambda naught by square root of 1 minus lambda naught by lambda c whole square. 